today is December 23rd, so that's two days before Christmas, and I just wanted to give you guys a, uh, a holiday grocery haul, Christmas grocery haul, so let's get started. Uh, we are having Christmas Eve at our house, by the way, so this is all for tomorrow. So we're making mozzarella sticks. It, should, it was just a lot easier to buy these. Um, they were buying and get one free at Publix. And I think, yeah, they come with the marinara sauce. Okay, and then we got crackers because we are having a meat cheese uh, tray as well as a veggie tray. Got two of those. They were buy one get one free. And then I got some marshmallows for the hot chocolate. We're making that after dinner homemade. Um, well, not really homemade, I guess. So, <laughs> but we're making it for the kids. Um, and then if you come over here, I have some ripe olives. I'm going to make um, kebabs with these. I'm putting little baby tomatoes which you'll see in mozzarella on a stick with these okay and we have some whole grain spaghetti i got three boxes there should be 15 people at our house tomorrow some whole grain multi-grain scoops for chips and salsa then i got some two packages of bacon we are making stuffed mushrooms as well as um stuffed jalapenos so bacon and cheese so the stuffed mushrooms, we're putting the bacon and some breadcrumbs, cheese, you know, good stuff, good healthy stuff for you. <laughs> um, I needed two blocks of cream cheese for both recipes as well as, yeah, I think that's it, just those two. And I got these little smokies, the beef ones, because the other ones, to be honest with you, that made me disgusted. Um, mechanically separated turkey and chicken, that didn't sound good, so... I got these. I still have to pick up the barbecue on grape jelly. Um, basically, I'm just going to let those cook in a crock pot on low. So they should be good. And back here, I have two cans of crushed tomatoes. Needed some more garlic powder, tomato paste. And these two jars of Victoria uh, spaghetti sauce. Oh my god. Like you would think, seriously, this came from a restaurant. It's that good. So... These are the combinations that I use as well as, you know, other spices that I can't let you know. <laughs> um, and then I have these, um, the Hawaiian King Rolls. Basically, I'm taking these and some ham and some good cheese that I need to pick up. Brush a little bit of butter and just pop them in the oven. They're really good with some seasoning. Then I got some uh, red, yellow, and orange peppers. Just a couple of them. I'm not a big fan of this. Um, this is going to go with our veggie plate, which I need to get celery, carrots, the ranch dressing mix, and baby tomatoes, some more of them. And so we have some pizza dough. This is going for the um, pepperoni rolls, as well as the good boar's head pepperoni. This stuff was is so amazing, and it was only $3, so might as well. Okay, I have a ton of jalapenos. I think I have 15 here, so this should make about 30 um, stuffed jalapenos once you cut them in half. Sour cream for the veggie dip that I make. I just, I use this and um, a Hidden Valley Ranch packet, and I just add some more dill and maybe a little bit of garlic pepper, or garlic powder and pepper. Okay. Then I got these mushrooms, Baby Bella. I got two of those for the stuffed mushrooms. I'm hoping that they're going to be enough. Um, they're kind of little, but like I said, these are appetizers. So uh, we got, we're got we going to have a little tiny you know, nut bowl and things like that. So I'll just mix these two together. Uh, we got some Italian dressing here for the salad. And I'll have ranch and other ones out too. I had to get some more Parmesan cheese. I put these definitely in my meatballs and obviously for the pasta sauce. Some balsamic vinegar because we do have a bread seasoning mix that you mix with olive oil and balsamic with the seasoning. So you dip your bread in that. So that should be delicious. Um, I had to get plain breadcrumbs for the mushrooms and then I got Italian breadcrumbs for the meatballs. Needed some more onions. Back here we have an assortment of candy, not too much because we're going to have a ton of cookies. So that's that. Uh, moving here, sorry it's like all over, I had to get some jalapeno oh, smoky chipotle cheddar jack cheese. It's really good. This is going in the jalapenos. 
I needed some cheddar cheese, Colby and Monterey Jack. Um, they were buying we get one free, so I don't know if I'm using both of these, but I know I'm using the Colby and Monterey Jack for the mushrooms and something else. I can't remember right now. Uh, but here's the fresh mozzarella. That's going to be so good. I've never made these before, but they I saw it on Pinterest, so I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, I needed some whole milk mozzarella for the pepperoni rolls. Some chives. What are these for? These are for, I think, the mushrooms, I guess. Not sure. <laughs> um, the whole, the uh, grape tomatoes, organic. And then the star of the show, the mild Italian sausage ground, as well as the ground round. This combination here with, you know, egg and breadcrumb cheese spices makes the best meatballs ever. So I spent a total of $130, and I think that's pretty good for 15 people. And then, of course, you know, we had to go get also, I got Coke, Dr. Pepper, Sierra Mist, Sprite, and water. And my husband might pick up some wine or beer today, too. So that's everything. If you guys have any questions, just uh, leave them down below. And please subscribe. I will be trying to upload at least three days a week. Um... Right now I have a little bit of downtime so I can upload often, but if you have any uh, video suggestions or any questions, just leave them down below. Thanks for watching.